What's going on, YouTube? It's James with Triumph Fantasy Battle Reports, and I got another battle report for you today. I got a game against Dan and Dan's Highborn Elf Army, and uh, I think this was like Saturday. Yeah, it was like Saturday. It was actually this Saturday. What the fuck am I thinking? <laughs> it's only like Monday. But, um, yeah, um, it's because I went back to back days to the dojo. That's what happened. But, anyways, um, so yeah, so we were going to go ahead and play against um, each other because. Like, nobody really was calling anybody out that weekend, and we're just like, fuck it, you want to play? I was like, yeah, sure, let's go ahead, let's play. So, he's trying out a double dragon list. He's done this list against me a couple games already. Um, one of the games he actually beat me, I didn't put the battle report up, um, mainly because it was right before a tournament, and I was trying to get, like, all these battle reports out really quick, as fast as I can. Um, and then ended up getting lost in, like, the past, and I don't have, like, the full battle report anymore. Um, not in my memory, at least. So, um, anyways, I'm rambling. Uh, so I got a game against Dan here, and uh, we're gonna sh go ahead and show you what I have and what he has. If you guys have been watching my battle reports lately, it's the same list that I've been using. Um, I'm actually just trying to get really uh, familiar and comfortable with it before I go to Michigan GT, because Michigan GT is the next uh, big tournament. The big next GT coming up, after, and then after that's WCW, and after WCW, I don't think there's anything till next year, and next year is uh, Wakpaka. Um, and then my own GT, uh, the Gauntlet. I just announced it. I announced it on a video that I just put right before I put this video up. So the Gauntlet's coming out in February, um, the weekend, the third weekend of the month. Um, basically, my whole goal here was to avoid Super Bowl and like Valentine's Day weekend, but whatever. <laughs> Anyways, uh, and then after that, I think it's like a Depticon. Anyways, I'm just rambling again. Shit, I gotta stop this. All right, so let's go over my army really quick. Right here, I got my unit of Savage Orc Ed Bashers. I got 37 of them with spears, and I actually created one guy. Let's see if you could see him. He's right in the front, in between the totem and the guy with the bullhead, and that guy has a spear. That one guy has a spear. <laughs> That's my way to show you that this whole unit has spears is that one guy. I mean, how can you get confused? I don't know. <laughs> uh, they do have Mickey, or not. They have the curse, or they have the Ironhide icon, and they also have the Banner of Speed. The Banner of Speed has now broken off my, my that model several times, and it's getting to the point where the glue is just holding out to more glue. Ah, uh, it sucks. I knew that would happen as soon as I made that model. I, I love the way he looks. But he is so three-dimensional that it's hard to store him and put him into the travel cases. Over here, I got the Chicken Rock. The Chicken Rock is the the, the current tournament MVP. Uh, he is very, very deadly. Uh, he has the the squad up top with Scar Snick and Chicken Head and uh, the Demon Goblin and uh, the Rat Face and the Steampunk Goblin up there. <laughs> I'll take a picture one day. You guys can see all what I'm talking about. There's like actual shit going on on top of there. But I'm still waiting for my uh, my bit, my mortar bit, uh, so I can put the web launcher on there. Over here, I got the A Rock, the mother of dragons. Where are my dragons? The breaker of chains, the grease MVP. Um, this this son of a bitch is just an awesome gargantula spider. Has been very trusty, very well worth it. Um, right here, I got General Zod. Zod is uh, demanding you to kneel but Zod is definitely uh, one of the hardest generals I've ever made he is a one-up armor um, for a board and you have to reroll any wounds against him and then he is just he's just rocking like mundane weapons but he's a weapon master so he can switch his weapons on the fly he is a badass and he deserves to be a badass he's an awesome general and he has very rarely been killed only by Ian twice and we're not going to talk about other people who've killed him. I think who else has killed him? I don't even remember. Who the, there was somebody else who did kill him once. Anyways, over here, I got uh, my five wolf riders, the chaff riders. The chaff riders. <laughs> um, over here, I got 21 cave goblins with short bows. They do have a fanatic. They do have both wizards there, uh, Goblin Joe and Goblin Baxter Joe. Both the goblins... Both the Goblin Joes uh, have little gods. One has two spells, one has three spells, one has a dispel scroll, one has MR. Over here I got my my King Koopa. King Koopa is a forest goblin uh, rider. He has a one-up, four-up, poison, obsidian blade, random other shit. I don't remember. I got the cave goblins behind him and also the six boar boys of the Borpocalypse. The six boar boys of the Borpocalypse are rocking Mykonox Totem. Any unit they touch will lose all their magical items. As for Dan, 
Dan brought out a unit of 10 Highborn Lancers. Um, uh, yeah, that's it. 10 Highborn Lancers. I believe this unit here has uh, the War Standard. Uh, he has another unit of 10 Highborn Lancers without a War Standard, just a standard. Then he has a small unit back there of Archers. Regular, like 10 Archers. Um, over here he has his General Prince Imeric, uh, it which is going to go on a bigger base. But this guy's on an Ancient Dragon. Uh, he has the Flesh Render and some other random shit on him. Um, but basically, this guy, the dragon, is just nuts. Um, over here, he has a, a phoenix on the left side. And on the right side, he has his fire wizard on a dragon as well. His fire wizard is like a level 2. Uh, he has, a, I believe, a book for an extra spell or so. And then he has the the 9 to 10 dragon princes. The dragon princes do have their BSB with them. And the BSB has, I forgot what he has, but they do have like that um, charging banner or whatever it is. Um, he has some chaff eagle right there, and then you can see there's his BSB, and also there's his level 2 of nature. I think this game... Yeah, he brought nature. He brought nature, and I was like, <laughs> you brought nature. And he's like, why? I'm like, I'm gonna use your attribute. And he's like, God, ah, sir! He just got like, he does this like, and grinds his teeth and like makes a fist motion at me. Anyways, over here for my magic spells, I got Stay Quiet, Evil Lie, I got Gift of the Mother Spider, and Fix It Up. Um, and then, as you can see, we're playing Flank Attack. Uh, he actually took the flanks, and this is really interesting, because I mentioned it to him right here. Um, which is, every single time I've ever played Flank Attack, everybody always gives me the flanks. And they take the center. This time he gave me the center, and I had to take, uh, I was like, oh, that's odd so I did I ended up taking the center I ended up uh, there's a lake in the middle I, I put my general on the lake because I was like whatever I don't care if I take dangerous terrains I'll heal myself um, I put the spiders on their lake as well because I just don't care the spiders are fine um, put Koopa and the boar boys on the right side now the, here's the deal the hill he can't see Koopa or the boar boys because the hills in the way obviously right but I'm hoping his lancers on the right side come forward towards the a rock and I'll pin them with Koopa and the, and the Boar Boys, right? And if he decides to go around the hill, I'll definitely hit him with the Boar Boys. So it blocks off that side. He fails to, like, want to move towards me if I could get a charge against him. But the whole reason I have the Boar Boys on this side, the whole fucking reason I have the Boar Boys on this side is because those Lancers have the War Standard. Or at least I thought. And then he's like, no, the other ones did after the game started. I was like, you told me it was this side, motherfucker. <laughs> God damn it. Like, that changes the whole strategy. So, not really, but whatever. Um, got the trolls in the middle by the the boar, uh, by the boar savages. Savages are just right in the middle because we don't want to loose that fast in the water or the, the woods. Um, and most of his unit or army is going to have a hard, hard, hard time dealing with the freaking giant block of savages. Um, I got 20 goblins uh, sitting next to the savages. And I have the wolf riders off to the left and the A-Rock blocking that flank. As you can see, this is how the left flank looks. And I'm figuring if his lancers want to come around with the war standard, I don't care if I lose combat. I'd be able to fuck him up with the A-Rock regardless um, and be stubborn for a while. But the one thing I did make a mistake of is my general's not close enough to everybody. Um, so Vanguard's. Vanguard's, I go ahead and I move up my wolf riders. He goes ahead and he moves up his lane reavers. And that's about it. It's going to go ahead and start off turn one, Highborn Elves. Highborn Elves turn one. He does this whole move up. Everybody just swings up. His freaking knights move up. His freaking dragon just... His dragon doesn't fly. It marches on foot through the freaking uh, trees, which is a really smart move. It was pretty ingenious when I heard Dan say that because I'm like, DT's motherfucker. And he's like, why? I was like, because you're going through the forest. He's like, I'm not flying. <laughs> Who said I needed to fly? I could go on my feet. And I was like, oh, you smart, smart bastard, you. Anyways. Um, so you can see his Dragon Princess kind of sit back a little bit because they want to get a good charge. And what he ends up doing is he ends up moving his lane reavers as a conga line right in front of my savages and my trolls. If I fail the frenzy, I'm turning sideways. He'll fucking just ram my side and just fuck me up and I'll just die a horrible, horrible death. Uh, so it's really important I don't fail that frenzy. <laughs> um, and uh, basically it's going to block up the trolls for a turn. Uh, magic phase. He got nine power dice. He goes ahead and he throws up flaming swords on these guys. I go ahead and let let him have it because he's only got like ten shots, right? Uh, shooting phase. He goes or magic phase. Still, he goes ahead and he does burning bolts. I stop it, and then now shooting phase. Shooting phase. These guys are gonna shoot at my trolls, and holy shit, they ended up doing like five wounds, and uh, I just failed some armor saves, and he ended up killing off one of my trolls. Whoa. <laughs> I don't care though. It's I care this much. 
And uh, I broke off the damn skeleton again once that happened. Anyways, turn one, orcs and goblins. Turn one, orcs and goblins. Here we go. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. Trolls are charging in. And he's like, what? I'm like, trolls are charging in. I don't give a fuck. Trolls are charging in. Savages aren't, but the trolls are. Savages passed their frenzy. He's like, all right. Well, he has to hold because he put them there on purpose. If not, he has he just gave the savages a free charge into his general. So I go ahead and I charge him in. And I decided to like forsake the right side of his knights because... Those knights don't even have the war standard. And I, what I end up doing is I move up my general, I move up the Iraq, and I move up Koopa. They're all lined up next to each other, looking at those units coming in. What my goal here is, I already thought of this. He still can't see my boar boys because my boar boys are behind the hill. Boar boys are just going to sit there till later, right? Uh, I thought, and this is a mistake we, we made in the game, I thought we were playing uh, banners. You know, whoever has more banners. And he thought we were playing Breakthrough, where he just had to get his units to my side. So we're playing two different objectives here, <laughs> which is fucking hilarious. We didn't know this till like the last minute when he's like, well, I'm on that side. I'm like, what does that matter? But anyways, um, spoiler. Anyways, <laughs> so I'm just kind of keeping the boar boys out of the way for now so they don't die a stupid death. Um, but what I'm trying to do here is I, I decided I'm going to charge in with the trolls. Trolls got in, obviously, right? Trolls are going to fuck up those five Elaine Reavers. But what I'm trying to do is get the trolls out of the water. And if the trolls go solo up in the middle, no matter what he charges the trolls with, would put his unit in a bad position. A very bad position. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Have the trolls hit. Let them overrun. If, I, if I'm using the trolls as 288-point chaff, let them be 288-point chaff. Um, on the left side, as you can see, what I did was I shrunk my goblins down to a rank of like five or six wide I think it was six wide but what I ended up doing was I ended up squeezing him there because his dragon cannot land into my goblins now what I'm really hoping for is a big magic phase and I'm gonna go ahead and throw a bubble of stay quiet because if he charges in with his, his general into my dogs or my savages or my goblins somehow he's gonna have to take two sets of dangerous terrains two sets so that's the part where I'm like, oh, this is pretty interesting, right? So let's go ahead and do that magic phase. Magic phase! <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Ah, oh, snake eyes. God damn it. I go ahead and I just try to do that stay quiet still, and I fucking fail it miserably. Ah, oh, that sucks. Anyways, uh, shooting phase. I'm going to shoot the web launcher into these guys. He, I do a couple wounds, but it doesn't matter. He armor saves them all. And uh, the trolls, trolls ate up the fucking unit and they ran right up like they said they would. And uh, yeah, it's going to go ahead and start off his turn. Turn two, Highborn Elves. Turn two, Highborn Elves. He was going over this one over and over and over and over again. And we ended up uh, moving the A-Rock over a little bit because we're saying that there wasn't enough room between the goblins to wheel out if he charges in here uh, because the goblins were in bad positioning. I was saying it's an illegal charge. He was saying, no, I moved it wrong i don't know we just decided to just go with it but he's charging the lancers into the flank of the the goblins here and i was like ah oh, man and this is the other reason why i was hoping even if he did charge on foot with the dragon i was gonna release that fanatic but i threw it at these guys instead i'm like ah oh, fuck it you could eat a fucking fanatic if you want and he's just like Ugh. um he's gonna charge the general in into the dogs they fail their fucking terror check BSB is right next to him too, but they fail it twice. That was my fault. I left my general way out of range on these goblins. I wasn't keeping them protected in the general's bubble. So they ran off uh, close off to the table. They end up losing one to DTs. They end up running off anyways at the, in the next turn. Then he goes and he charges it to the goblins, but the goblins actually make their terror check. Holy shit. I was actually surprised about that one. And the, he charges in and he gets in like so. Um, like I said, if I had that freaking DT thing, that would have been awesome. Um, and then, uh, as you can see, what ended up, what he ended up doing was really smart. I mean, smart, smart, and like iffy at the same time. He moved the eagle in front of my savages, so I can't ch counter charge his general on my turn. Okay, that's cool. But then he realized the trolls are way up there, and the trolls will fuck up anything in his army. They'll basically they'll fuck up anything in his army. So he goes ahead and he moves his dragon riders all the way around out of their line of sight. They're the the knights of Rima, right? So what it did was it put him in a really weird position. I told him this too. I was like, Dan, you're 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 losing positioning because of this, you know? 
But he goes ahead and he moves the Phoenix over. He moves uh, he moves his wizard out of the unit because he realized I don't really have shooting. Um, I do have a magic missile, but like whatever. Um, anyways, magic phase. He got nine power dice. Uh, he goes ahead and he does a spell. Four dice. Gets double sixes. What spell was it? Oh, it was Dwellers Below. He did Dwellers Below or the Earth Cracks or whatever it calls, it's called right now. And I'm like, you know what? Just go for it. I want to see this guy blow himself up because he did four dice, right? So he goes ahead and he, holy shit, kills the champ and killed 10, 12, 13 guys. Oh, fuck. Oh, man, when that happened, I was just like, oh, my heart dropped. I was like, that sucked. I can't believe I let him get that off. But, I mean, I could have stopped it with the scroll. I should have stopped it with the scroll because the scroll guy is about to die to a dragon. But I wasn't thinking. I was like, I was just like, go for it, Dan. Whatever, right? So, uh, close combat. He ends up killing off the freaking wizard, and he ends up killing off a couple more guys. And uh, yeah, they're steadfast, but they're steadfast on a four, <laughs> and uh, they're not gonna stick. And basically, they're gonna go ahead and break. Uh, he chases me down, and he'll go ahead and hit right into the A rock like so. That's gonna suck, but basically, hopefully, the A rock will stick on her stubborn checks, and we'll see how that goes. It's gonna go ahead and start off turn two, orcs and goblins. Turn two, orcs and goblins. He didn't see this one at all. He, you know, he was worried about the savages. I decided I'm not gonna charge the savages in, and you know what I do? I do Koopa. Koopa charges in, goes right into the Knights of Rima, has to go in between the crack of the freaking the the eagle and the sav, or I'm sorry, the eagle and the trolls. Pops out that side. General Zod charges into that fucking eagle. Fuck that eagle. That eagle's dead. <laughs> and uh, what I end up doing was I end up swift reforming uh, my savages to face the rear end of his freaking general. Also, if the knights happen to beat Koopa, uh, the, the knights or the savages will be ready for front charge uh, and also facing the front of his phoenix. I turn the, the trolls around so they're facing the flank of everybody on a following turn. And then I move the, the chicken rock right in front of his other knights and I'm like, the, the main focus right here is keeping this tight bubble. Everything's centered on Zod. Zod is in the center of the, the freaking board. Um, the only thing out of his bubble right now is the boars, but the boars can't be reached because the chicken rock's chaffing up his his knights, and they can't be seen by his other guy behind the hill. Um, and then my other A-Rock, my A-Rock is out of the general's bubble, but is still in the BSB bubble, so that's pretty cool. Um, so this is how the table looks right now. Magic phase got five power dice. Go ahead and I do uh, fix it up. He stops it. I go ahead and I do gift of the mother spider, which I was really hoping to get off, and he stops it as well. Um, and then are we doing close combat already? Yeah, close combat. Close combat. I do one wound onto the dragon. The prince did two wounds onto the spider, and then the prince goes ahead, or the dragon goes ahead and does another two wounds. He doesn't do his flaming breath yet, and uh, I actually stick. I end up sticking on a. A leadership six, which is awesome. Um, over here, close combat. He challenges with the champ. Koopa accepts. Koopa beats the shit out of that fucking champ. <laughs> and uh, the Obsidian Blade is just fucking awesome. It changes the game of Koopa. It really does. But, uh, yeah, he's going to go ahead and stick. He's steadfast. His BSB's in that unit. He's hoping it'll hold for a round and see how that goes. But, um, yeah, that's... And then the General Zod. General Zod just <laughs> took a DT from charging out of the water. But... Killed the bird, and I'm just going to stick in the middle. Yeah, I could have overrun, but if I overrun, I don't really think that it would give me a better advantage. I think right here I need to stick with my bubble. If I overrun too far, the trolls are going to get out of the general's range, so it'll be kind of dumb to do that. So I just kind of stick right here. I'm going to have to hold around and see how that goes. I think the wolves actually rallied for a turn, but uh, it's going to go ahead and start off turn three highborn elves. Turn three highborn elves. <sighs> These fuckers, they're going to charge in. They're going to hit the freaking <laughs> the, the fanatic. My question here is to, to anybody who knows this, uh, knows the answer to this. He has to charge in, right? But can he avoid hitting the fanatic and only get like three guys in? You know what I mean? Not 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 maximizing five into my, my A-Rock because technically there's a model in the way. Can he like charge around it? That's the question I have. But uh, anyways, he rounds into it. We played it as he runs into it. The, the the fanatic only killed two guys, which was nothing. He still passes, uh, and he gets in like so. And this is really gonna hurt if I don't get a chance to kill um, his general. I mean, his general has no ward save. His general had a lucky shield; it's gone. Um, and then I have uh, a bunch of attacks coming in. I really just hoping for some poisons. I'm hoping for the ordinance hit poison maybe. Um, but he doesn't have any armor. Sa his armor saves a three up armor, which turns into a five up, and that's it. That's his only save he has against the A-Rock. 
So um, he moves his freaking phoenix in the way, so it basically chaffs up my own unit from charging it to his general in the next turn, which really sucks. Technically, I think I can still make it because I can wheel the goblin to touch his general, and then I got a flank, but then I'm only having, like, two guys attack. Not really, like, the whole squad, but it, it, it could pay off. It could not pay off. We'll see how that goes. Anyways, um, over here, he ends up moving his freaking, uh, his highborn lancers this way to the flank of my boar boys to just force my hand not to, to charge, and he moves his freaking fire mage behind my chicken rock but into the ruins. I don't care if there's chicken rocks in the ruins, but everything else matters in the ruins. So he's going to take DTs in there. Um, I don't think he mar I don't think he marched in there. I think he just regularly like walked in there. But uh, in the following turn, you'll see what happens. Magic phase, he's got three power dice. He goes ahead and he does... The fuck did he do? <laughs> I think he did like a fireball into the savages, and it did like one wound. Um, but yeah, that was about it. Um... Over here, close combat. The freaking Lancers. Oh, no, I'm sorry. The Dragon Prince puts one wound on. Okay, so he whiffs a lot. He's still strength six, but he, he you know, he got like four hits, and then he freaking swings, and he only did one wound. The Lancers go, and the Lancers rack up another two wounds. I am at, I have one wound remaining, but right now I have initiative four versus initiative three dragon, and I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go ahead and put all my attacks right into that dragon, and bam! Ordnance hit. Got the ordinance hit it on. He's freaking flying. All right, so he fails the armor save. I go ahead and I do the freaking uh, multiplier, and I get like max wounds. I got a total of six wounds. I got well, he had a wound on him, but he got a total of six wounds on him. He bought the ancient dragon upgrade, so he has a seventh wound still on him. He still has one more wound remaining. God damn it! But holy shit, did the A Rock fuck him up? That really, really fucked him up. He goes ahead and attacks the dragon, kills freaking A Rock. The Wolf Riders panic; they're gonna run off the table. Wow, that actually changed a lot because now he has to worry about keeping his general alive. His general only has one wound. A freaking uh, a random rock could fall on the damn eyeball of the freaking dragon and kill it. You know what I mean? Or he could trip on something and die. He's gonna go ahead and start off his turn. Turn three, or my turn. Orcs and goblins. Turn three. Orcs and goblins. Turn three. I'm like, well, fuck it. He gave me a flank here. I'm gonna charge into his flank. So I charge into the flank with my my boar boys. Unfortunately, he is gonna be steadfast, but I'll still have a charge banner and and um and hopefully some wounds, right? Um, over here, he put this guy's chaff in front of my troll, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the chaff uh, right here. Um, and then I think the last turn, the last turn, I he challenged, I challenged to kill off his BSP. And uh, we both whiffed. So nothing happened, but I stuck because I was in General's leadership range. So anyways, my General, General Zod, is going into the freaking Knights of Rima. He was like, that's a mistake. I'm like, why is that a mistake? He goes, you should hit Zod into the Phoenix and kill the Phoenix. I'm like, you know what? I don't give a fuck. I'm going to charge the Phoenix with my Savages. And he's like, that's a mistake. You should have charged my General. I was like, dude, I don't care. I'm going to kill that fucking Phoenix. Okay? The way he's angled right now. I don't know if I got a better picture. I don't have a better picture of it. The way he's angled right now, if I kill the Phoenix, even if I don't kill the Phoenix, um, if I kill the Phoenix, overrun right into his general, his knights can't do shit. The only ones who really could mess me up is if Zod and Koopa cannot hold his knights of rhyme. If Zod and Koopa can't hold his knights of rhyme, his knights of rhyme are going to flank my savages, and that'll just be ugly. Well, ba you know, everybody gets in. I'm not even going to bam it because they were all kind of pathetic charges. Uh, <laughs> everybody was like close. Uh, Chicken Rock walks right behind his dragon. He's just going to sit there. Um, and uh, yeah, Magic Phase. Magic Phase got six power dice. Go ahead and I do. Um, I do uh, fix it up onto his Phoenix. He, he dispels it. But then I go ahead and I do. I give the savages poison because I don't want to deal with the strength 4 versus the T5 because he has the fucking, you know, minus buff. So I go ahead and I do the poison. I roll three dice. He rolls a bunch of dice, and he fucking fails it. Holy shit. So they got poison. Um, over here, close combat. Impact hits. Takes out one dude, right? Uh, the freaking uh, Koopa. Koopa killed his fucking BSB. Did three wounds, right? And then Zod goes, and Zod only kills, like, one more guy. <laughs> <laughs> they are going to stick. They're still fucking steadfast, but they stick there for a turn. Those two will fuck them up by another turn, though. Um, over here, holy shit. <laughs> he goes ahead and he swings. He kills maybe like a couple guys, maybe two or so, right? I go ahead and I swing, and it was just like, like 20, 30 attacks. I don't remember how many attacks it was, but it was just like poison, 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 poison. <laughs> he was just like, shit. 
shit. <laughs> Holy crap, did I fuck up that bird. That bird is dead. Holy crap. Um, I'm going to overrun, and I overrun into his general, make a new charge, and get in like so. And all I got to do is one wound. That's it. I just got to do one fucking wound, and his general is going to pop like a little pussy. All right, over here. Um, I lost combat. I am not fucking kidding you. I charged. I had a flank. I had a, a, a banner. He has a banner, a rank. No, I win combat by one. But I didn't kill. I fucking whiffed everything. Strength seven attacks. I whiff everything. So he combat reforms to face me. I combat reform to have more attacks in. And it's going to go ahead and start off turn four. Highborn elves. Turn four highborn elves. He figures, well, you know what? Everybody's going first before these guys. So he's going to go in. It, it, this is really smart, I think. He's gonna charge in with the fire phoenix or firebird or fire dragon, excuse me, into the rear of my savages. He has both dragons in there. He, he could do a massive magic phase where he just burns the unit that he's in close combat with because he could do that, right? And burn a shit ton of them, and then double fire breath them, and then double attack them with everything they have, and hopefully do enough wounds where I cannot uh, fight back, basically, right? So he charges out of the fucking ruins. He has to take DTs and holy shit, he, he has to roll four DTs for fucking the, being a monster. And he fucking failed three. There was three ones he rolled. <laughs> That's horrible. That's so bad, man. That's just bad luck right there. That's just bad luck. He gets in like so... Oh my god, Dan, I feel so bad for you right there. Uh, magic phase, he got seven power dice. I don't think he did anything. Um, so over here, close combat. Close combat, he kills one guy. I failed to kill any. Um, he has a rank and a banner. I have a banner, and he has a wound, so I lose. Uh, my boar boys run. They run into the water. I think I lose one into the water, maybe, maybe not. He chases, but he ran a pathetic number, which left them open for my flank on my turn, so my chicken rock attack them on the next turn but it didn't make me lose my banner which sucked because I thought it was banner scenario um, over here Koopa and Zod just fucking just start tearing apart some more knights he he I believe sticks actually one more fucking turn I'm not kidding I did three wounds he has a banner he did no wounds nothing else happened I healed my wound on, my, on Zod with one of the magic spells I did <laughs> alright over here impact hits impact hits alone <laughs> I hit, I wound, and not only do I wound and he fails his save, but the fucking impact hits from the big Stabadon are ordinance against large targets, so it would have been more fucking wounds. Oh my god, it was just, that's just awesome. That was just brutal. Ah, <sighs> fucking Stabadon. I, I've been waiting for the day for the Stabadon to kill something in, in uh, something monstrous in the game. Um, this guy in the back, though, he ends up killing off only one guy. Um, all right, take it back. He does the fire breath and kills off like five guys. Um, I think I failed to wound him. I think I I did. Yeah, I, I only need to do one wound to this guy, but I failed to wound him. I am in a stick because I'm steadfast. I turn around, and it's going to go ahead and start off my turn. My turn. Orcs and goblins turn whatever this is, the number at the bottom. The chicken rock's going to charge it to the flank of the lancers. Uh, he passes his terror check. He s flees. He flees on purpose, and he actually ran a decent amount, and I, I couldn't even catch him, which sucks because it wasn't that far. Uh, Magic Phase got eight power dice. I go ahead and I throw five dice on Gift of the Mother Spider because it's really important. I get a freaking massive blow up of because I use five dice, but I needed to stop, make sure he didn't get get my like my five dice versus his, his five dice. Um, and I only killed like three of my guys. That's fucking awesome. I did take a wound on my Goblin Shaman. But they got poison. They're going to take all their attacks. Whatever, right? Um, over here, close combat. <laughs> As you can see, my trolls helped out. They just came in and finished off the last three guys. And uh, that's just brutal. I'm going to turn the trolls facing the archers. Turn Zod facing the dragon. Koopa, I don't. I think was facing the archers as well. Um, and then over here, close combat. He ends up killing off two savages. My savages go and just destroy his fucking guy. Holy shit. Um, and that's how it looks right now. It's going to go ahead and start off Highborn Elves turn, whatever this is, and I don't know why we're still playing at the moment. <laughs> but, um, as you can see, his, he has his two knights on, on my side of the table, right? He moves one out of the line of sight of the orcs, um, and then the other one rallies. Um, that's basically it. There's no magic 
I'm gonna go ahead and do my turn. I charge. This unit right here flees again, but uh, he's gonna rally right before the end of the table. I think he gets. I think he does. I want to say he rallies. I don't remember. Um, right here, I charge with. Um, maybe he did run off the table. I think he did run off the table. Anyways, I charge in over here with the, these guys, with my board boys on this unit here, um, and. Oh, no, 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 we took it back is what it was. Because if he fled, he was going to flee off the table. And he's like, no, 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 I want it to stand. And I was like, well, just stand and do it, whatever. So he stand, he stood. The chicken rock went in. Boar boys went in. I reformed my, my savages to face off the flank of his knights. If the knights do happen to win that combat, Zod is my backup. Zod's going to go in. Um, and then over here, I just charged Koopa and the trolls in. Um, so uh, Magic Phase got 10 power dice. Go ahead and I do fix it up. He stops it. Go ahead and do Gift of the Mother Spider. And it goes off onto the Chicken Rock. Uh, part of my question was, and this is something that I believe Fergus has answered to me before, but I don't know if it was based on Tomb King specific or is it based on uh, just this combo in specific. If I was to give my Savages poison and they have Lethal Strike, um, I know in old uh, other game, 8th edition, uh, it, the poison will override and the Lethal Strike will just be null and void. But Fergus was saying that if you get the poison, you can still roll another dice to see if you got the six on the lethal strike. I wanted to know if that was still valid or not. Um, if you guys could let me know, that'd be awesome. If not, um, you know, I, I don't I don't know where to look for something like that. I think it might be a FAQ thing or not. But if you guys know, just let me know. That'd be awesome. I would like to know that um, for my own sake. All right. Um, over here, close combat. <laughs> I am not kidding. You see all those dice. That's how many wounds I did. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16, 17 wounds. That unit had like 11 guys. Holy shit. They did fear me. <laughs> and they just died a horrible, horrible, horrible death. They did do two wounds to the trolls, though. Over here, close combat. The Boar Boys ended up killing off two guys. Uh, he goes ahead and he... Or three guys. Yeah, three guys. Uh, they, he goes ahead and attacks back. I think he does no wounds, but he's steadfast. He's going to stick there for a turn. Uh, over here, close combat. He, he ends up doing one wound onto the... Uh, Chicken Rock, Chicken Rock, I think that was like a horse that did a wound. Chicken Rock goes and kills off three guys. He's going to be step, no, he's not step fast. He just sticks. And it's going to go ahead and start off turn six. Uh, Highborn Elves. Turn six, Highborn Elves are just going to go straight into combat. He ends up killing off a, a Boar Boy. I don't do anything, but I I think I win combat on that one. Or we just stick again. Um, over here, close combat, I do one wound. He does like one wound in a banner. And he wins combat. He ends up chasing me, or not chasing me, he lets me run. I run away, I get away. Now here's the deal. This is where we were talking about what I was talking about earlier. Is if he he guys it's the ambulance. It's driving by. Anyways, if he stays on this side of the table, he's in my deployment zone because I had center, so my deployment zone's like fifteen inches up. But he has a banner on my side, which for him it's breakthrough, and he would win based on having breakthrough. If we were doing banners, it would be a tie and it would be like a seventeen three week win me but whatever um magic six power dice go ahead and i do i think it's my turn i don't know what turn this is anymore this is all, i'm like so confused uh yeah magic six power dice go ahead and i do gift of the mother spider on my savages savages charge into the flank of those guys and they just wipe them out and that's how the end of the table looks guys um basically he has that one unit alive in my deployment zone if we're playing breakthrough it would be a 14 six win by me if we were playing banners it would be a 17-3 win by me um i need to get rid of that one unit that one unit just uh, kept me from a 20 and 0 either way <laughs> no not a 20 and 0 because if we were playing breakthrough i would have to get to his side but um anyways that was just confusion on us we were both like like we should play this we should play this we should play this and then we i apparently never agreed on which one we were playing <laughs> anyways guys i hope you enjoy these i enjoy making them um Guys, if you haven't checked out my video I just put up, I just put up a video about Team Mexico, about Patreon, and about my new uh, my new GT that I'm doing. Uh, I did it last year. Uh, it was a one day last year, but this year it's going to be a two day tournament, and we would like to see people from all over. If you guys want to come out to Chicago on one of the fucking coldest months of the year, <laughs> and and see the giant amount of snow that we might have or might not have, uh, come out to Chicago, play some Warhammer. Or excuse me, play some Ninth Age, and um, 
yeah, come out to the dojo. Dojo is a great place. It's a great place to have events at because it's just there's everything there. If you guys need anything at all, you guys can just go upstairs and get it. We have the terrain there. We have the tables there. Come and enjoy the game. Um, right now, the registration is $30. It's early bird special. So if you guys want to get in, join in on the $30 special. Um, and then, like I said, there's going to be plaques, there's going to be awards, there's going to be a fucking gauntlet, like an actual medieval gauntlet for the first place winner as well as the winner of best paint. Um, so that's going to happen. Um, guys, if you guys are interested in joining Team Mexico, you could always go ahead and apply on the Ninth Age forums. Um, we're looking for actual applications, not people who are like, hey, I would like to go to Spain. That's not the answer we're looking for. We're looking for people who are applying and who are interested and actually willing to go um, invest into the trip. It is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. It was so fucking awesome. I went last year for Greece. It was so fucking awesome. I would definitely tell any of you guys who have the remote interest or the like the like the smallest like oh it would be awesome to go, but I'm gonna tell you the same thing my dad told me. Just fucking go. All right, seriously, just go. It is so fun. It is not even worth like I like. I can't even explain it. Like, there's just it's it's fun to see people from different like countries playing the same game that you love and, and, and enjoy. And you start seeing shit that you've never seen before with your own army. You start seeing people play different tactics and different styles and different things. And there's so many different variety of people playing your army um the people there are great every time we went there we went like every day we were there you know every night was just a blast it was dinner with a different country and it was just like um it was just so much fun so guys i would recommend if you guys are interested in going to spain we still have a couple spots on team mexico send me a message send angry miguel a message and we'll try to get you guys in um and uh we're, we're, we're going through a lot of applications and if you guys are already applied and you're listening to this don't take it as we're not accepting you because we haven't accepted anybody really. We've only, uh, we're just, we're still in the process of looking through who our applications are. We want to take the best team possible and that's what we're doing. So guys, um, yeah, that's about it right here. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's, uh, the next day, which is Sunday, which is yesterday, uh, I ended up playing another game against a Vermin Swarm player. So that game will be up as soon as I can finish making it. Um, and, uh, yeah, besides that, let me see if I'm missing anything. I always feel like I'm missing something. Guys, visit my Patreon page. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to give out awards if you guys want to um, go ahead and donate more than a dollar a month or something like that, like $5 a month or whatever. I'll go ahead and I'll start throwing out rewards for my higher uh, paying Patreon um, customers, I guess, or support patrons. I don't know what the hell the word I'm looking for is. You guys can fill me in. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoy this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, and peace.